Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up VoiceMeter Banana. So I had already done a video on how to set up VoiceMeter itself, but I also wanted to show you for VoiceMeter Banana. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr. And here as you can see on my Fiverr, you can get a logo or a banner or both for your YouTube channel if you want. But now back to the video. If by the way you want to know how to download and install VoiceMeet Banana, I actually got a video up here on the top right corner that will show you how to. But now let's actually jump in. So first let's start with the input and the output. So here in the input, we're going to go to hardware input 1. I'm going to select my microphone here. So I have the Blue Yeti. Be sure that's a WDM and then choose the microphone. So as I said, minus the Blue Yeti here, I'm going to select it. Then for the output, we're going to hardware out here and we're going to A1. And so in this case, you actually want to select your speakers so that you can actually hear what's going on. Same, this has to be a WDM. Okay, there you go. Now very important here. So if you go back to hardware input one, as you can see here, we have A1. I just unselected this because otherwise I'll hear myself talk. I don't want that. So in case you want to hear yourself talk, make sure you do A1 because it will directly connect to this A1 right here, which is, as I said, the speakers in this case. Now, if for some reason in the process, you actually don't hear anything anymore in your own speakers, it's probably because your output's here. And as you can see here for my, it's in my speakers, but, but for you, for example, it could be that it went to one of the voice meters right here as an output. And so you don't want that. So just put it back on speakers. And in case you don't hear anything at all, just put it back here. But let's just go back here now you can actually also by the way change the name if you really want to distinguish every channel here you can for example right click on it and you could rename it to whatever you want i'm going to do for example mic one that's just a preference it's quite easy you can do the same for these two if uh, you're going to put something else here if by the way coming back to the input and output you can also right click here on the audio go to open volume mixer and actually could do the input and the output here as well if you really want it because in your case you probably want it to be voice meter in and out now actually concerning most apps that you use but for example discord obs or whatever other software you want to use this with make sure that it's either on default but if default doesn't work, make sure to set the input and output as voice meter in that case. Make sure to set the input as voice meter and the output either as voice meter itself, if you really want to hear your audio through voice meter, or really just put it as the speakers, the output. But make sure that in the software itself, so as I said, for example, Discord, actually do that beforehand and watch at the input and the output, because a lot of people can get that wrong. But in any case, let's now just go over the channels. So here you have the first one, as I said, which connects to the A1 here. We also have a volume, so the D in DB, you can boost it right here if you put it up which uh, can go quite loud too fast, or if you can to put it down, it's gonna get really quiet. So make sure that kind of check it for yourself, what's the best volume, what you think in your opinion is the best. And in my case, I only want to select B1. Now, if you want it to be in mono, that can be, you can just select this right here. It really depends, you have to verify between the stereo where you're in right now, or if you click this on mono, what's really, what's really better in your case. Now here in hardware input two, we're actually gonna put the WDM once again, and then the cable output VB audio virtual cable. So the one that I asked you to download in that one tutorial. So you should have this for sure if you want to use it and you could actually also connect another microphone for example here or even a game capture like an elgato you can actually put that right here so that's nice about voice meets banana that you actually have those multiple channels where you could connect audio sources to now keep in mind in this video i'm already using the, the sound of obs so this is actually the settings in obs for my voice so you don't hear myself adapting these settings live but you can check that once again for yourself in your case so right here you have the two virtual inputs so for example if you play any video in youtube and that will go through voice meter they'll be right here so same if you wanted to make sure that you hear it you can actually put it on a1 because that means that here in a1 you will hear it for your own speakers same you can uh, actually do the gain here and also a little bit detailed you can do some eq so there's basically this this is treble there's basically the highs the mids and the lows if you want to change those, so if you want to boost something in the high frequencies, something in the middle maybe, or even in the lows if you want some more bass, you can actually do that here. I'll show you how to do this as well for your microphone, but this is for the audio that you'll listen to, for example, as I said, any video on YouTube or any other audio coming from your desktop. And this, for example, could be something like Discord. And here you have the master section, you will have the multiple channels right here, you can have control over. As you can see, I put my microphone to B1 right here, so that's the one that you can see actually here. You can, uh, you can actually see me talk right now live. And if an audio was playing, I would hear it here from my speakers. This will be the virtual audio cable, and this will be something else that you can link here to the third one. And here, of course, same, you can touch on the gain you, you can also enable some eq or put it in mono mute it if you wanted to mute for a moment that's really nice you have the little mastering part here which is very nice now here i just did it actually if you click on here you can actually record yourself as well so if you want to record a certain part cl right click here you can actually see the options here now this might be a little bit overwhelming a bit it's a bit confusing but there's really nothing much to do here if you really want to record i mean it should be at 48 hertz which it is now you can decide if you want to loop it or not some resolution this is really if you only want to lively record a certain sound this will be the directory where the actual files will go but that's really more a detailed thing if you really want to plan on using that 
We're gonna go over the most important here, going back to mic one here, so my first hardware input. There's already some kind of an EQ that you can use, it's actually this one right here. So as I said, you wouldn't be able to hear it live, but basically here are the lows, here are the highs, and this is gonna be some echo that you probably don't want. So uh, generally people put it around here, which you can do as well. I have it generally around here to have some more high and mids here, but that's really entirely up to you and listen to it yourself, what you think is nice. I said I put it around here, but just this area is generally pretty safe. So, and if you double click on it, it'll actually reset. There you go. But there's actually an alternative here that you can do in EQ, which is arguably better. Let's go and go to menu here, run other voicemail tools and do a uh, run of a 50 bands graphic EQ. As you can see here, we have a more detailed one. Now, of course, in this case, it's going to be my microphone is right here. And here, as you can see, you can touch upon more specific frequencies here. Now, I don't have to go really in uh, detail about the whole EQ, but this here is way too low. This is boominess. This is the lows in general here, around 100, 160. Here you have some lows. Here you will be in the mid, right here. So once again, this is boosting. This is like cutting some parts if you want less of the bass, for example. Here you can just put zero to put it back. The mids and then the highs, of course, around here. Never go too much in the highs, I would say, because it will be a lot of trouble. It causes it to be really light recordings if your if your other one to be really thin. So it's more to keep it around here in the mids and the lows a little bit. And then, of course, here you can boost the gain again, so the dB. So that's already a more detailed... EQ version that you could actually use. If what you also can do here, if you, for example, go back to the first channel here for the microphone, you actually have two options here. You actually have a compression and a noise gate. So compression is, it's its really in the details. It's really hard to hear at times. It's really discreet, but if you hear it, you can hear it. And it's, it's not really necessary at this point. You're not really at a stage where you really need to compress your sound. But something that could be a little bit more important here is a noise gate. If you have some background noise that really is hard to remove. And in some situations, it could actually work to just put this a little bit up and behind you, you will hear less noise. For example, fans, neighbors, whatever, you will hear them less. And it could actually help you a lot. But don't put this too high, by the way. Don't put the nose gate really too high it's actually at the right point where the noise is actually removed pretty well but not too much as i said now if you click on control and if you drag with your mouse so hold control or alt and drag with your mouse you can also limit the sound so this is a limiter meaning that if you have a certain db that you don't want to go over so if for example there are moments that you scream or loud noise all of a sudden happens well then you can limit your sound you don't want to go too high obviously you really want to limit the sound that the sound does not go over so that's very nice it's a little detail that can definitely help you out when you set up most things you actually can go to settings here you can actually restart it you can actually save the settings so if you're happy with what you have right here what you just done you can do save settings and it will actually go probably to your documents maybe downloads i'm not sure but you can actually make a folder for yourself i just put a folder in my documents i have the normal voice meter right here and the banana settings right here and you can just uh, save one right here it's a dot uh, xml file and then to load it of course you go back here and then you do load settings and then you just choose the one that you uh, that you just made. You can also, if you want to start over, reset the settings. That will remove everything here. Don't worry, it will not delete something that you saved. So if you just saved, it will still exist. It will just reset what's currently here on the board, on the software right now. But as I said, everything that's saved will remain saved. But here you have some preferences. For example, you want to say the system trait will probably be here in the arrow. You can actually run this on Windows Startup if you want to make sure that when Windows is starting up, that this actually opens on itself. If you plan on using voice meet banana often. And so also just show the app on startup. You can also, for example, if it's here, click right and do pin to taskbar, for example. If you click here, you can also make a desktop shortcut if you want, of course. In any case, guys, I try to go over as much as possible here, explaining you voice meet banana. If you have any questions, leave them down below. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.